Okay, book number three is Felicia Cartwright and the Knotted Wire. This book, the other books that I'm showing were from the 50s. This was from the late 60s. It kind of looks like a 70s illustration, but it was 1967 or something like that. And I just love the illustration. And this was actually, Felicia Cartwright was um, a series from uh, a Christian um, publisher. So they were Christian books for young people. And this is the paper that was not part of that Prima collection. This was from Recollections, and it's called Farmer's Market. But I love, I thought those colors and butterflies, and I just thought the design went really well with this picture and kind of reminded me of the early 70s. There's some fringe up here and golden rickrack across the top and a sheer, yellow sheer ribbon. This paper was not double-sided, so it was white on this side, so I just glued on some scraps of fabric, actually stitched on some scraps of fabric, and there's a, um, what do you call these cards? It's got the little notches where you file them. Anyway, you can journal on that, and this is a vintage bingo marker that somebody sent me, and there's an ID card that you can write your information on. Rolodex card. That's what that is. Okay, so here's that uh, Seven Gypsies ledger paper, but this is a graph. <clears throat> a strip of decorative paper. This was actually the strip that was perforated along the top of this, and I thought it was really cute, this peachy colored gingham. A, a shorter page with a Tim Holtz butterfly. I believe I left that open. Yeah, I should put a tag in there. Maybe I didn't leave it open. Yeah, it's open, so I'll put a little tiny tag inside that butterfly. And there's um, uh, grow grain with green or gold um, border on it as a ribbon for a pocket and two little tags. Let me make sure this works. Yeah, there's a tag. There's a hole there for a tag, so I'm, I'll get one in there. This is stenciled. There are fabric strip tabs across the top. This says Grin. I thought this design, I have a set of these stamps, and I thought that was good for this 70s looking, late 60s, early 70s. Sunflowers here and a pocket with some vintage rickrack and some seam binding. This little journaling card. This is actually from a spool of ribbon that I bought a long time ago, and I just liked this. So it, it says Simple Goodness. And I thought that was cute. little hand holding a daisy. A couple of tags slip right in there. And a fabric flip there. Guess check. Some music paper. And this has an eyelet. I wanted to show you my eyelets. I buy the I buy them, you know, just white eyelets like you buy. And then I rub them with a couple of different colors of distress ink. This one has some red and blue on it. And then these I didn't stamp, but these I just took a background stamp with script. This is dictionary page and this is script. And I stamped right over the whole sheet. And so you get these eyelets with these really neat designs. So these are some of the colors that I have. And I used this one. It has uh, blue and green ink on it. And there's just a little fabric collage there. A journaling card and a white tag. This is a time card that I cut and uh, glued on as a pocket. A little strip of fabric. And there's a tag that I stamped on. And this charm is a dragonfly. Whoops. There you go. Sorry about that. And to cover up the text down here, I put on this um, little piece of a scrapbook paper that says, Life is Great. 
and there's a card in the center. I edge punched it and stenciled inside. And there's a pocket with a couple of tags. And it says document everyday life. This was cut from the back of the book because it matches the design and I thought it made a really neat decoration on this page. It says imagine. And I saw somebody make an envelope with a guest check. I actually saw it on um, Practice Makes Pretty. Um, Denise's what uh, YouTube. She had a video. She made she saw, had a journal that Angie Bunner made, and Angie did this, but I think Angie got the idea from somebody else that I don't know. And then um, Angie also, or not Angie, um, Denise also made a journal and did this. So anyway, I used a, one of the sturdier guest checks and made it into a pocket. And I put this little piece of a grid index card inside. And... You can tuck this tag behind it. Music paper here. Polka dotted library card with a bright orange pocket. Polka dotted pocket with a bright orange card. I reinforced the music paper with this polka dotted paper. Some trim up here and a couple of fabrics. Seam binding there. Some stenciling and a guest check. This is one of the lighter weight ones, and this one came from Canada and it has some French words on it. This was from Stacy Carpenter. Thank you, Stacy. I love using these. And I used one of my Julie Nutting's uh, paper doll stamps, which I always forget about, but I thought for these books it was really great. And there's another polka dot pocket, library pocket with some stripes. And this is a Tim Holtz paint palette image and a couple of journaling. This is just a folded up piece of paper. It says books to read. It came out of a, a book that I have. So I guess we'll call this one Felicia. And candy stripers. This one has a pretty um, pink and brown ribbon on it. And here's the cover. I took these white cutouts from my Cricut and just stamped or stenciled. I don't remember now. I guess it was stenciled some ink through them to give them a little bit of a design. And it has fringe and vintage rickrack. And here's what the paper looks like. So pretty. It's got some butterflies along the side here. And it says, this book belongs to, there's some decorations on this diagonal pocket and a little card for journaling. Stamping here is one of my Julie Nutting stamps. Love this Gerber Daisy paper. This is a little pocket with a layaway tag. That's from Denise's shop, um, A Tattered Dream on Etsy. Some fabric pieces, and I left those color dots on there because I thought it was really pretty that way. This one says Grin from the fashion book, some accessories. And I have this very beautiful variegated rickrack that I bought at Walmart. So I stitched that on there. I thought it was fun for this book. And this is an image from the book, the Candy Stripers book. And this is from the back cover. So I cut that out and um, glued it on as a pocket. And there's another of the guest checks that Stacy sent me from Canada with some French words on it. And I stitched it to some paper. Another time card as a pocket and some fabric. And there's another dra um, dragonfly on that. And 
this is a this was a design cut with my Cricut and in the center I put on this little cutout from scrap paper that says wonderful life another card that someone sent me with some lipstick This really lovely dyed paper came to me in a flowish journal swap from Jill. Thank you, Jill. I love that paper. Little stamp there. Again, a pocket made with the guest check. A tag inside it. It's a library pocket from Michael's with a card inside. Fabric. Another guest check. This one has a um, little satiny ribbon there and I stitched it down the center so these tags don't slide around so much. Guest check and a layaway tag and I stitched this little thing cut out from scrapbook paper that says sweet. So this one is called Candy Stripers. I think I'm going to go over 15 minutes but I want to get this journal in here and this one's called Dreamer of Dreams. It's from a book called 16 and I just cut this. This one is a photograph and not a, a illustration and it looks like the cover got wet but that just makes it look more ethereal, I think. I just want you to be aware of that on the cover. But I just think it's a beautiful image. And I, this one might be my favorite because I love the romantic, chavy chic look of this one. Um, the beautiful papers. And I used um, a, a piece of lace cut from a pillow sham that I got at a flea market. It was not a vintage pillow sham but that lace is gorgeous and then there's a little bit of trim up here this is one of the tim holtz chipboard words and then some seam binding i stitched some gathered muslin here and this is just a cute little tag now this is one of those reinforcements that i showed you with the red and blue inks but look how perfectly it blends right in it's like it was made for this paper <laughs> And here's a tag, just a plain manila tag, and I stamped this book belongs to and put this little scrapbook thing on it that says date. Another piece of that pillow sham lace, beautiful pink fabric, and a journaling spot. This book has, I think it has more journaling space than maybe some of the others. Um, this one has a little clock, which is Cavallini and Company that Julie Mangold sent me, and it's a tuck spot. Jill coffee or um, Kool-Aid dyed some tags and sent them to me one time. And there's another little oval tag that I got at a flea market. Some stamping. This one has some um, ribbon and fabric tabs. Here's a vellum quote that says well done is better than well said and it just has a little piece of pink seam binding stitched on there. A couple of journaling tags. Some stenciling there. And there's a little fleur-de-lis on this one. Some stamping. Guess check. This is another tag from um, Cavallini. This is a Stampin' Up! card from years and years ago. And I just glued this little image on there that I stamped. And it opens up for journaling. And this is not a flap, it's glued, stitched down and glued a little bit, and it says dream. There's um, fabrics and some trim there. This is a little tag from Daphne's diary, and I stitched it on as a tuck spot, and then this is a printable, it says to-do list. I love this trim. I think I also got this at Walmart. There's another folded cardstock piece that someone sent me for journaling. And this is 
a scrapbook paper folded up that you can write on and I just clipped it on with a paper clip. That really looks 80s, doesn't it? Flap, music paper. And this is one of the fabric tags that I made uh, with some pieces patchworked on and some buttons and some fibers. And this was inspired by um, Nazi from Amity Bloom. And this word kind is stamped on there. So I st just stitched that on as a flap. And there's a vellum quote. What, Whatever thou art, act well thy part. Scottish proverb. And I've heard that in a more modern vernacular of whatever you are, be whatever you are, be a good one. And this beautiful library pocket was made with my Cricut from um, Stampin' Up paper, long, long, long time ago. Pretty stamping there, uh, Julie Nutting doll. To quote what you said, and this is a tag from something. I don't even know what it came from, but you can journal on the back of that. And I think either somebody bought or sent this to me or I found it at Hobby Lobby. Seems like somebody sent it to me, a pack of those tags. Guest check and fabric flap. Little tiny pocket with a little journaling card inside. And un hidden under here is my signature. I don't know if you noticed, but my signature was on the inside cover of every, inside back cover of every book. So, Dreamer of Dreams, Candy Stripers, and Felicia. And these will all be listed in my journal, along with the two I showed in the previous video. And I will leave a link. Thank you so much.